Hey everybody, this is my review for How to Train Your Dragon 2, the new animated movie from DreamWorks that just came out uh, this week. So first I'm going to say the movie looked absolutely amazing. I think the animation today, uh, if you go back and watch the original Toy Story and watch How to Train Your Dragon 2, you'll see how much animation, or even special effects for that matter, has evolved throughout the years. and this movie there are times where I, I thought sometimes it was either little minute, miniatures or um, or even real life landscapes and so that just shows you how amazing animation is today obviously they're not going to perfect the way human characters look and they shouldn't because it's an animated movie for a reason they should look over exaggerated and um, you know the movie does all of that perfectly uh, the main villain in this movie is uh, a villain who's building his own dragon army. Uh, his name is Draco, which kind of reminds me of Draco from um, the name. I mean, kind of reminds me of Draco from uh, Dragonheart. And uh, this villain, though, is very threatening. He's like right up there with some of the most scariest movie uh, animated villains to date. He's like right up there with Scar and, and Jafar and all that. He's like a pretty free... I wouldn't say he's like the best animated villain of all time, but he's definitely a, a, a pretty scary one, very threatening, and causes a lot of damage in this movie. Uh, the story and themes in this movie are really strong and, and emotional as well. I think um, the movie definitely touched, especially the theme of family, I mean that one is right there, and uh, it really has a huge impact in the movie. The movie ver uh, flows very smoothly. There's not one moment in this movie where where you'll feel bored. Um, I think they, they really placed everything. They placed each beat, the action beats and the emotional uh, beats and you know all those moments that were supposed to happen happened at those right moments where it felt well. And if it it's one of those movies where like it, the movie actually went by really quick for me. It's like almost a two-hour film, and uh, I didn't feel that way at all. I felt like it was like an hour at least, and then I realized, wow, this this is almost at the end, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, I, I was actually kind of disappointed when it when it was finishing up, and uh, it uh, it just shows how much fun the movie is and how intense it could be at times. When I say intense, I'm actually, there is a, especially at the end, there is a very intense moment where, without spoiling too much, it's like a Mufasa from The Lion King. It's like that and Bambi's, Bambi's mom. It might even have you tearing up a little bit, so... Uh, it, it's a really dark moment too, and uh, I, I think kids can handle this stuff though. I think, it, I think, you know, back in my day when I was what uh, ten years old, I watched The Lion King, so I had no problems with that, and I don't think kids will have a problem with this too. I think it's on that same level, though, as The Lion King and as Bambi and all that. Um, and that's the great thing about movies is that they can help audiences deal with life especially kids you know th that's what animated movies are for they it's something so they can all relate to and that's what movies try to do they try to do things that we can relate to and understand yes it's a fantasy film but there's still things there that we can grab and connect to on our own level um also i have to bring up toothless the dragon uh hiccups dragon uh, that dragon man, I, I love that dragon. It reminds me of a, my dog so many times throughout the movie and it was really heartbreaking where there's one part towards the end where Hiccup yells at Toothless. I'm not going to say why, but he tells Toothless to go away. And in the sad look on Toothless' face, it's like I, I pictured my dog at that moment. I'm like, no, why are you telling your... your why are you telling I called it a dog. Why why are you telling your dog to go away, man? Like go say sorry to it. It wasn't his fault and uh I'm I'm trying not to spoil it, but it's it's really hard for me not to spoil. That's why most of my reviews are spoilers. Was there anything about this movie that I didn't like? 
I, I really couldn't really think of anything. Maybe except for um, Jay Barshell as the voice of Hiccup. Um, nothing personal against him. It's just when I hear the voice, I picture him, and it's a little distracting at times. Um, but other than that, um, because like I knew Jay Barshell since like his popular mechanic days. And if you don't know what that is, search it up. It's a Canadian TV show from when I was very young. And uh, he used to be one of the hosts on that show. And uh, so I knew him since those times. And um, I've seen him in a couple of other movies. Like he was last year, he was in uh, This Is The End, which was a great comedy. And it's. I didn't mind him in that because it, like he was playing himself anyways but this movie it's like it's an animated movie and when I hear that voice I know who it is and it's a little distracting for me but I guess that's what I don't know I don't know what they were looking for exactly when picking him as the voice um, someone geeky I guess and yet he does fit that role I guess um, but he's not doing anything wrong but that's the only thing that I can find. I'm just being nitpicky, really, but um, he, he's fine as the voice. He does a good job. Just it takes me out of it. It's it's more my problem than it is his problem. So, uh, final thoughts. I love this movie. I thought it was really strong, um, very emotional, and I totally recommend to bring your kids to go see this movie. Uh, I think I, I think you can go see this movie without kids. Definitely. It's one of those animated... I think animated movies are very smart nowadays and nice. Sometimes they're better than a lot of live-action films, in my opinion. Um, and they're more original, too, sometimes. They're, you'll find more original animated content out there. And I think it's because animation allows people or creators, these directors, to go more out there and try take more risks. Because animated movies will make money... Uh, no matter what. I shouldn't say that because sometimes there are animated movies that do bomb, unfortunately, but um, yeah, definitely go see this. I gave it an 8 out of 10. I thought it was really nice. Um, was it as good as the first one? I'd say it's it's just as good as the first one. Um, I really love the first one, so I'm not sure to really make the statement if I liked it more than the first one yet, but I'll say, okay, it's on par with the first one for now. And, um, yeah, go check it out. You'll like it.